Welcome to Comcast High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps. I'm Shannon Rideout. And we take you to Pearland at the rig where the John Morris relays took place. Here early on in the meet in the 4x100 meter relay, the girls from Fort Bend Hightower would claim first place with a time of 48.62. Now moving on to the boys' action in the boys' 4x100 meter relay, Galena Park North Shore picking up right where they left off from last year. They claim first place in the 4x100 meter relay with a time of 41.61. The ladies also looking impressive in the open events. Here you would have the 400 meter dash, Ashley Wright from Beaumont Westbrook claiming gold with a time of 57.85. Lady Hurricanes also representing at the rig. Here you would have Carissa Hill from Fort Bend Hightower. She claimed gold in the 100 meter dash with a time of 12.95. John Morris Relays usually has some of the best competitors in the Houston area and Taylor Houston would not disappoint fans. Here in the 200 meter dash, she claimed first with a time of 25 seconds. Boys heating things up here early in the 100 meter dash. Jalen Hicks of Galena Park claimed gold with a time of 10.93, while Justin Jenkins of Dickinson came in with a time of 11.44. Another tight race on the day, the boys 200 meter dash Jermaine Arthur Lee of Galena Park claimed gold with a time of 22.07, while Dominique Charles of Pearland Dawson came in in second, while Justin Jenkins finished out the top three from Dickinson with a time of 22.97. In the boys, 110 high hurdles, Tevin Jones of League City claimed first with a time of 15.15, while Dominique Stewart from Galena Park claimed the time of 15.25, to claim second place. Also putting in work on the hurdles, the girls 100 meter hurdles, Savoy of Elkins claimed first with a time of 17.26, while Taylor Houston of Pearland Dawson got second with a time of 17.39, and that will do it for the hurdle action. Reporting for Comcast High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, I'm Shannon Rideout.